and why Portugal? Funny what happened in, uh, in terms of our growth cycle, we, had, we liquidated a lot of assets, uh, Swiss-based assets over the last three years. And we were looking for jurisdiction within Europe that we could find value add transactions. And one of the jurisdictions that we looked at was Portugal. And if you look at the, at the economic realities and the growth and the way Portugal has gone around about creating investor demand and boosting the local economy, we feel that, that there, it's a long-term trend. So right now, if you look at the, at, at the, at the shortage in, in ver various asset classes from residential to office, there's clearly uh, a clear and evident shortage of, of, of stock, which is driving investor demand, it's driving uh, rental yields. Um, and I, I think for us principally, we want to make sure before we start investing in a territory that there is long-term sustainability. And Portugal ticks all the boxes, at least Lisbon does in terms of the local economy and the, and the spend on infrastructure. If you look at the roads, the cycle paths, the recreation areas, there's clearly a lot of money being spent and you can, you can physically see that. Secondly, Portugal in boosting the, the local economy, they making the ease of doing business in Portugal extremely efficient. They're also fast tracking visa and business application, corporate online applications. And, and for us, the real litmus test is the fact that corporates are moving into Lisbon, which means you've got long-term sustainability. And if you look at who the corporates are, Mercedes-Benz have set up their headquarters of their, internet, of, of their artificial intelligence unit. That's 400 engineers to start, probably going up to 1,500 engineers. Volkswagen have done a similar thing. You've got BNP Paribas, who've now consolidated the whole European back and middle office into Lisbon. They're busy building out 70,000 square meters of resi for their staff and 35,000 square meters of offices. You've got Lisboa, which is a local startup. They've now got 280 companies under their umbrella. Um, the local government is recently in an area called uh, Beattle, putting up a 35,000 square meter startup hub project in phase two going to 100,000 square meters. So if you look at the corporates that are coming in internationally, it means that the demand, the ongoing demand for office and residential is sustainable. It's not a, it's not a short term, a, a cyclical um, mismatch in terms of supply demand. So we think because of the amount of money the government is spending and the fact that corporates are taking a long term bet on moving their, their staff and their headquarters into Lisbon, gives us a lot of confidence that the market's got a long way to run.